Like I had mentioned in our previous sessions, we always are in business to make profits. And of course, sometimes things do not go well and sometimes losses occur. So it is the interest of every businessman to see whether they have made a profit or a loss. Now, the calculations of these profits or these losses, if it is a relatively small business, they are normally done towards the end of the year. But as businesses get bigger and bigger, uh, depending on the bulk of activity in that business, the bigger the business, the more frequent it is required that the business owners need to calculate the profit. But before we get to calculate the profit, we need to account for the expenses and revenues in the double entry system of accounting. And in this session, this is exactly what we are going to discuss. Do we debit the revenue? Do we debit the expenses? How do we deal with the double entry relating to revenues and expenses? My name is Ranga Kuramia Arnold and this is Kisembo Academy. First of all, what are revenues? What are expenses? Let's first acquaint ourselves with what revenues and expenses are in the next few minutes. Then afterwards, we shall proceed with the double entry relating to revenues and expenses. So let's first talk about the expense account. Do we need to credit an expense account or do we need to debit it? That is when an expense takes place, let's say like electricity expense. You've paid for electricity expense. Do we have to debit it or credit it? Let's, let's use the analogy of, um, let's say the business is going to buy an asset. Like Let's say the business is going to buy um, a table, furniture in its premises. When you are going to buy furniture for your business, what happens is that you're going to spend cash. So because you're going to spend cash to buy this furniture, it means you're going to credit the cash account. You credit the cash account and the corresponding furniture that you're buying is going to be debited. In other words, when you're purchasing assets, the assets that you're purchasing are supposed to be paid for and because they're supposed to be paid for, you are going to debit the asset account that you're buying and the corresponding double entry is made on the credit side of the cash account because cash is reducing. So it's the same thing. Anything that requires spending money, whether you're buying an asset or you are purchasing goods in your business for resale, you are going to always credit the cash account. You credit the cash account because cash is reducing. However, the corresponding debit entry is made to the respective asset account or to purchases account. That is when you're purchasing goods. So it is the same concept here even with expenses expenses are supposed to be paid for so because expenses are supposed to be paid for it means that expenses are going to cause the cash account to be credited so if we are going to credit the cash account after paying for expenses it means that the respective expense account has to be debited so that's the reasoning so in other words increases in expenses are debited it could be rent expense, it could be a commission expense, it could be insurance expense, whatever kind of expense. So that is the double entry, uh, that's how the double entry logic for expenses comes about. Expenses are debited. You debit expenses because they are supposed to be paid for. You debit the expense account and credit the cash account. So in a nutshell, I don't know if I'm over repeating myself, but we debit the expense account because it has to be paid for just like the way it would be for a cash uh, just like the way it would be for an asset account when you're purchasing an asset or when you're doing purchases so the reverse is true for revenues for expenses we shall always debit them so for revenues revenues are credited just like the way you see in our previous sessions we have been crediting the sales account so it's the same thing we do with revenues. Revenues are credited. Now, in short, this is what I want to say to wrap this all up. Profits belong to the owners. Revenues increase profits, so they increase capital. And that makes them credits. 
expenses decrease profits so they reduce capital and that makes them debits the treatment for expenses is the same treatment for assets so meaning that increases in expenses are done by debiting the appropriate expense accounts while uh, reductions or re re reductions in the respective expense accounts will result into crediting those respective expense accounts talking about the revenue accounts revenues are treated in the same way you would treat a liabilities account increases in revenue are credited to the respective revenue accounts and of course when revenues reduce we shall debit the respective revenue accounts and so in summary like you've been seeing on your screen right there that is how it all plays out that uh, we are going to just we are going to treat expenses the way we treat assets as far as double entry is concerned and we shall treat revenues the same way we treat liabilities as far as um, double entry is concerned so in our now upcoming session we are going to do a worked example to help us demonstrate double entry that is relating to revenues and expenses my name is Arnold Ranga Kuramia if you like this video please Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you've noticed, subscribe, and be sure to check out other awesome content on the channel. I'll see you in the next.